Hello and welcome to Crypto TV. This is Vaibhavi Savant and let's start with today's headlines. Cryptocurrencies fall on risk aversion as Fed beat in focus Bitcoin below $22,000. FTX Ventures leads $150 million funding round in Aptos to revive Dean. India's ex-financial secretary Garg says government should hold discussion with crypto industry. Tesla booked $170 million worth of loss on its Bitcoin holdings. Bankrupt crypto lender Voyager says no customer will be fully paid under FTX offer. Barclays likely to invest millions of dollars in cryptocurrency firm Copper. Schroders buys minority stake in Swiss crypto firm Fortis. Cryptocurrencies fell in evening trade Monday as investors avoided riskier assets ahead of Federal Reserve's policy decision later this week and a slew of corporate earnings. Bitcoin fell below $22,000. U.S. stock wavered at the start of crucial week for the global market with major indices trading mixed recently, underscoring the volatility in the market ahead of a key events. Investors are expecting a stacked week of earnings ahead that will include reports from major tech giants Alphabet, Amazon, Apple and Microsoft. The Federal Reserve on Wednesday is widely expected to announce a three-quarter point hike to tamp down inflation, which could hurt company earnings and economic growth momentum. Investors believe that recent earnings of companies have shown recession concern rising in America with most investors brushing off disappointing earnings. Data showed that crypto exchanges liquidated over $54 million worth of position in futures, mostly bullish bets, in the past 12 hours as investors turned cautious. CryptoWire's IC15 index fell over 3% and traded around 30,800 recently. All the components of the benchmark traded lower. Aptos Labs, which is a layer 1 blockchain and comprises mostly former Meta employees, has raised $150 million in its latest round of funding led by FTX Ventures and Jump Crypto. Aptos will use the investment to support the development of the project. With the latest round of funding, Aptos Lab has totally raised $350 million this year as it plans to utilize its technology and programming language, MOVE. Aptos Lab, co-founded by CEO Mo Sheik, in February announced plan to bring the Dame blockchain after Meta's crypto arm, Dame, officially shut down its stablecoin project in January. Other investors in the project included A16Z Crypto, Multicoin Capital and Circle Ventures, among other crypto firms. Former Finance Secretary of India Subhash Garg is in favour of the government having a discussion with the crypto industry rather than cracking down heavily on the entire digital sector. Speaking to a local publication, Garg said that barring the Reserve Bank of India, the country's central bank, there wasn't any opposition within the system against blockchain or other technologies. The former bureaucrat was of the view that killing crypto would harm prospects of the country and its potential use in several sectors. According to a digital asset exchange cross tower report, blockchain and Web3 innovations will likely propel the digital asset economy's value to $262 billion in a decade and India could benefit immensely from the growth. Elon Musk led Tesla INC said it booked a $170 million loss against the value of its Bitcoin holdings for the first six months of the year. However, the electric card maker also booked $64 million gain from certain sales of its Bitcoin stash, the company said in a filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission on Monday. Tesla recognized its impairment loss in the line with accounting principles which define digital asset as indefinite lived tangible asset. Last week, Tesla said it sold 75% of its Bitcoin holding valued at $936 million in the second quarter to maximize its cash position. 
The company made its Bitcoin purchases worth $1.5 billion in the first quarter of 2021. Tesla's filing didn't specify exactly when the company sold or began to sell its Bitcoin holdings. In a court filing, Voyager's lawyer have alleged that FTX offer aims to transfer significant value to Alameda FTX and completely eliminate the value of assets that are of no interest to the venture. Last week, Bank Manfred, in a series of tweets, had claimed that under the FTX offer, Voyager customer would get back 100% of the remaining asset that Voyager has, including claims on anything recovered in the future. Voyager lawyers alleged that Alameda's FTX proposal was designed to generate publicity for itself rather than value for Voyager's customers and Alameda FTX essentially proposed a liquidation. UK-based Barclays PLC is reportedly buying millions of dollars worth of stake in Copper, a cryptocurrency custody company, at a valuation of $2 billion. Copper, which counts former Chancellor Philip Hammond among its advisor, has seen its valuation fall from an anticipated $3 billion owing to the ongoing distress in the cryptocurrency space. The funding round is expected to close in the coming days. Copper has chosen to become regulated in Switzerland after it was unable to register with the UK's Financial Conduct Authority. Copper, apart from the offering crypto custody, offers prime broking and settlement services to institutional investors in crypto assets. Multinational asset management company Schroder's PLC has bought a minority stake in the New York-based arm of Swiss crypto asset management firm Fortis which is focused on blockchain technology. Fortis is the asset management arm of the Numis Group, a diversified digital asset investment firm founded in 2021 and based in Zug. Fortis will offer a range of investment solutions which span customized portfolios of external managers, yield generation, actively managed thematic portfolios, and over the long-term tokenization. Once available, the UK-based Schroders will give clients access to Fortis capability where appropriate. That's it for today. This is Vaibhavi Savant signing off. Keep watching Crypto TV.